Right, and this is really all to show you how I used the Luminar Neo to transform this photograph from this to this. By the way, this photograph and preset is going to be available in my website, so you can download it and use it in practice. All right, guys, uh, as I said, I will be showing you uh, the quick tools I used in Luminar Neo just to create this photograph. This was a photograph I shot with my mobile phone in, on, in this island, this uh, called Iguana Island in Panama. So um, let me walk you through the process, I mean, um, the workflow, and then I will go into the details of how to um, edit the photo. So the first one is the develop mode. I use this one just to apply some small contrast and I think to correct or actually to adjust the white balance to my liking, right? And there's not a right or wrong uh, setting, it's just, it's just the one you like. And then I move to the dramatic uh, tool just to add some drama as the tool implies. And then I went to details to sharpen the entire photograph. You know, I want especially this area to be uh, more in focus because, you know, I was standing, trying to stand still, and, you know, uh, having the phone really close to the rock and water and everything around it, you know, waves. And, you know, I was scared about, you know, having my phone or lose my phone or me getting all wet. But I think the composition was about right. So then I moved to the sky replacement just to add this sky. This is one of the default skies that come with the program. So you don't need to purchase any new sky, but if you have your own or you can use any of the ones they have available in the tool, or you can go to Luminar Skyloom, actually, which is the company a marketplace to purchase some sky sets. And then at the end, I use the develop mode to, or I mean tool to add some curves. Yes, good. So now let me reset the settings and start, um, you know, walking you through the process. This is the way to reset the settings. Then I will start my workflow. The first thing I will do is just to crop. I will crop because I, the horizon is not that, you know, that <laughs> leveled, but I like the composition. My focus was these two elements in here, but let me try to crop this a little bit, like around there, maybe to the top, around there, and then, yes, I think there is not that bad. Uh, let me see. The crop is something that it is to your liking, right? You don't have to crop it exactly the way I do it, but. I think it's important to have an uh, interesting composition. I'm trying to place uh, these two little shells in here. Still, that I think there is much better. Let me see them apply. Mm. Yes, I think it's fine in there. Maybe a little bit less like there. Let me see. Yeah. I will leave it there. I think it's fine over there. So after cropping, then I will go to develop, as I said, and the first thing I will point in the develop mode here was, I mean, develop tool. It keep me saying develop mode. Uh, I will use light over here. We'll apply some smart contrast, maybe around 25 or 23 is fine. You see, all right. And then I will go to color. I would reduce the white balance. I mean, the temperature to around maybe the 30s or 29 is okay. Just to apply kind of a cold type of look. And then um, I will go to 31, maybe here, 32. Saturation, let me see. Yeah. And that's it with the develop tool. Now moving to the next tool is the dramatic um, tool is under the creative, creative section. Dramatic, I will hear the amount, maybe not that much, 20 something, or to whatever you like. Oh no, we hear the local contrast. I think there is fine. And under saturation and brightness, I think I will leave it the way it is. No problem at all. Now, moving to the next tool, details. That is over here. And the details I will do 
small details around there. And this is for sharpening, okay? Uh, 34, maybe 35. I think 34 is okay. And some sharpen. Maybe there, this is applying sharpen, you know, sharpening the entire uh, photo, right? So, okay, but I would like to keep more focus in this area. So I will click a brush, erase, I mean paint, and paint the effect only here, okay? I think there is fine, and maybe around this drops in here, I want this this details to be kind of sharp, not that much about the rocks. <laughs> okay, and around there, I think it's fine. Let me see. Yeah, I will leave it like that. And now, moving to the next tool, is now time to replace the sky. So you typically will find the sky replacement under the creative section, but I have it in my favorite, so is up here so i will click on sky ai and i'm selecting one of the default skies i mean one of the skies that come with the program when you purchase it and i will use sky or i will like maybe it's this one here sunset four yeah okay so boom there's the sky you know already the, the photograph's looking great i will add some brightness to the sky and that's all in this for this tool now i will move to my next one i think is the develop tool i used to add some curves and i will probably around the shadows yep like there and increase it there and boom there you have it we fix a crop a little bit or i will lower that maybe a little bit of more sky apply and boom there you have it guys so this is the quick edit i did great so again guys if you like this type of content please subscribe to the channel hit the bell so you can get um, a notification every time i upload content and hit that thumbs up and share the content if you would like to again guys thank you very much for watching the video and i see you in the next straight to the point tutorials god bless you all bye bye